Hey guys, football fan 148 here on a sad day for Chelsea and for England. As the former Chelsea and England goalkeeper Peter Barnetti has died at the age of 78. He made his Chelsea first team debut in 1960 and then later helped the Chelsea side win the FA Youth Cup after signing him from the Reading Youth Team after his mother had written to Ted Drake, who was the manager of the team at the time, requesting that he gave her son a trial. A trial. And he held that position for more or less consistently for the next 19 years as Chelsea's first choice goalkeeper. He emerged as a key figure in a talented young side which included Bobby Tamling, Terry, Terry Vernibules, John Hollins and Barry Bridge. The team went into the penultimate game of the season needing to beat promotion rival Sunderland to have any chance of going up. Chelsea won 1-0 with Benetti making a brilliant last minute save to deny George Mulhall, Mulhall, sorry, and maintain his side's promotion chances. A 7-0 win over Portsmouth secured instant promotion back to the first division. Um, the new Chelsea side also challenged for honours during the 1960s with Benetti a key figure throughout. Although more often than not, the team narrowly missed out. What? A Chelsea won the League Cup in 1965 with a 3-2 win over Leicester City with an inspiring performance from Benetti helped secure a 0-0 draw for his side and thus the trophy in the second leg. Chelsea were on course to add both the league a title and the FA Cup but ultimately missed out and were beaten by Liverpool in the semi-finals whilst the title challenge was ended with few games left after a bust up between Doherty and several of his first team players not though not Benetti in a, that means a much weaker team was fielded in a key match against Burnley in which Benetti conceded six goals in that time. Benetti also continued to play in every game of Chelsea's Fairs Cup run the following season, putting in a series of impressive displays against the likes of AS Roma, AC Milan and Barcelona, though his side were eventually knocked out in the semi-finals as they were in the FA Cup for the, sec for the second year. Uh, the signing of Alex Stepney at the end of the season briefly threatened his position as Chelsea's first choice keeper and considered putting in a transfer request. But Stepney ultimately played only one game for the club and was sold to Man United a few months later. Chelsea eventually reached the FA Cup final in 1967 where they faced Tottenham Hotspur. But the team got outplayed on the day and Manetti could do little to sort Spurs, winning 2-1. The closest he came to winning another trophy with Chelsea was in 1970, but in which time Doherty had been succeeded by Dave Sexton. In 1970, Chelsea again reached the FA Cup final, and this time faced reigning champions Leeds. Over, fiery, over the two fiery contested games, Manetti had what was perhaps the finest moment of his playing career career as he made a, a series of crucial saves that helped them emerge with a 2-2 draw. Shortly into the replay at Old Trafford, his, he, had a, he had a left knee injury after a challenge with Leeds' Mick Jones. He eventually returned to the field after treatment but was effectively playing on one leg for the rest of the match and was powerless to stop Jones scoring the opener a few minutes later.
In spite of the injury, he made crucial saves throughout the match, denying both Peter Lorimer and Terry Cooper and resisted more pressure from Leeds after Chelsea had taken the lead in extra time to help secure a 2-1 win. Such were Bonetti's performances that season. He was also voted the runner-up at the FWA Football of the Year Awards. A year later, he helped the team win the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup after another replay win in the final, this time over Spanish giants Real Madrid in Athens, which saw Chelsea take a 2-0 lead in the replay, but Real dominated for much of the second half, and it was another inspired performance from Benetti, who missed a large part of that season through injury, which helped them hold on for a 2-1 win. That was his last ever trophy with the club, although he narrowly missed out on more in the following years, losing in the 1972 League Cup final to Stoke City and in the same finals in the same competition to Norwich City a year later. He then, he then returned to Chelsea, where his experience proved inevitable in helping new manager Eddie Creedy's young side gain promotion in the 1976-77 season. Two years later, in May 1979, he played his final game for Chelsea, a 1-1 draw with Arsenal, having made 729 appearances for the club in 19 years. Only Ron Harris has made more appearances and has kept over 200 clean sheets. He conceded only... He won goal or less in two thirds of his games for Chelsea, and the and the honours he won. He won two second division titles, a league a league cup in 1964/65, the FA Cup in 1967 nine, I mean 69-70. The UEFA Cup Winners Cup in 1971 and the FA Youth Cup in 1959-60. And he also helped England win the 1966 World Cup. He was a huge part of Chelsea, really making dozens of appearances and winning at least at least winning six major, major trophies at Chelsea during his career. He would be sadly missed by everyone at Chelsea see, and me as well. Because not only us me here, but there's been a few tributes to him on, twi on uh, Twitter. With Mark Glover saying, so bad to hear, I meant so sad to hear the news that Peter Bonetti has died. R.I.P. the cat. Chris Mez has tweeted, sad to hear the news that Peter Bonetti has passed away. A true hashtag Chelsea legend. R.I.P. catty. And Chris Bain, Chris Bain tweeted, oh no, Peter Bonetti has died. Rest in peace, Catty. Thanks for the memories. Charlie Jennings put Peter Bonetti, proper Chels, will never be forgotten. R.I.P. Bertie has tweeted, R.I.P. Peter Bonetti, true blue, our only English World Cup winner. Sam Clark's tweeted, absolutely devastated to hear the death of the the great Peter Bonetti, 729 appearances for the club, second only to his captain Ron Harris, the greatest keeper in the history of Chelsea FC. May you rest in peace, Peter the Cat. Hashtag Chelsea FC, hashtag legend, hashtag RIP Peter, ben Peter Bonetti. Fatty F Faulkner has tweeted, Long, long story, but Peter Bonetti was the reason I'm blue. 
Thanks, the cat. Couldn't imagine being anything else. R.I.P. Hashtag CFC. And finally, Simon has tweeted, A childhood hero. Every kid was Peter Benetti when it was their turn to go in goal for three and in. R.I.P. So, so sad to hear that a true Chelsea great has died. I offer my serial condolences to everyone that is connected with uh, Peter Benetti, his family, his friends and everyone at Chelsea FC. R.I.P. Peter Benetti. Thank you all for watching this um, sad, sad video and I will see you all in the next video and please all keep on smashing the subscribe button. But before I do sign off, I'd just like to say one thing. Peter Bonetti, you're one of the reasons I became a Chelsea fan. You were such a great at that club. And we will all miss you. R.I.P. Peter Benetti. Thank you all very much for watching. And good afternoon.